Welcome to the Green Restaurant Association presentation on energy efficiency within the restaurant industry. Today we will talk a little bit about the Green Restaurant Association standards, the GRA, some examples of certified green restaurants, some great ways to communicate environmental accomplishments, and where consumers are in their desire for dining green. Let's begin. The Green Restaurant Association was founded in 1990. We're a national nonprofit organization and have one mission, which is to shift the restaurant industry toward ecological sustainability. This is all we have been doing for the past 22 years. And we have the largest database of green solutions for the restaurant industry. Our transparent science-based standards have been built from the ground up. We have the most experience of any organization on the planet helping restaurants go green. And a proven track record helping hundreds and thousands of restaurants become more sustainable. We're endorsed by major environmental organizations, New York State Restaurant Association, Fulton County, New York State, and various organizations across the country. Some of the most esteemed restaurateurs, like Mario Batali, Rick Bayless, and Eric Repair, have their restaurants, certified green restaurants. Hotels like Wyndham, Hyatt, Intercontinental, Corporate dining like Microsoft, Qualcomm, Chase, Morgan Stanley, New York Times, all the way to institutions as American as Apple Pie, such as Statue of Liberty, Ellis Island, and Yellowstone National Park. The most esteemed universities in the country like Harvard, Boston University, Northeastern, UCLA, Culinary Institute of America, Sweet Tomatoes as a chain, Soup Plantation, and Uno's. Moving on to the standards, to become a certified green restaurant, a restaurant can achieve two, three, or four star certified green restaurant level, getting 100, 175, and 300 points respectively in our seven environmental categories of water, waste, sustainable furnishings, sustainable food, energy, which we'll be focusing on a little bit later, disposables, chemical pollution, and reduction. They need to hit 10 points in each of the categories. Have a minimum of 100 points total. A full-scale recycling program. Be free of polystyrene foam and a yearly education program. You can visit our standards at dyinggreen.com backslash restaurants backslash standards dot ASP as you can see at the bottom here. Here's a little snippet of our energy standards. We deal with everything that a restaurant could possibly do from build-out to renovation to normal operations. For example, if a restaurant does a fully insulated food warmer, they'll get two and a quarter points. If they do an Energy Star qualified holding cabinet, they'll get 7.5 points. If they do a CEE Tier 2 holding cabinet, a little bit more energy efficient, they'll get almost four extra points. There are some standards for which there is only one. For example, the Energy Star Qualified Fryer is 11 and a quarter. But on a steamer, there are two standards here. On the Energy Star Qualified Griddle, seven and a half points. Let's move on to the next one here. We deal with heat recovery, insulation, um, tankless units for water heating, high efficiency water heaters. So here's uh, water heating, all, many different options. If you take a look at a low flow pre rinse spray valve, if you're doing 1.28 gallons or less, you'll get six. If you go even below one gallon per minute, you'll get an extra little bit at six and three quarters. Same thing with the prep sinks. We've got three different levels for um, some aerators here. Energy Star Qualified Dishwasher, seven and a half. And then if you do your own laundry there at the restaurant, you'll see Energy Star Tier 2 and Tier 3, three different levels for the washing machine. 
Same thing with HVAC. You'll see three different levels here, Energy Star, Tier 1, and Tier 2. They're all good. These just are slightly more efficient. We'll find that in the cooling element here, too. So I encourage you to take a look at these standards on your own. Um, whether you end up becoming a certified green restaurant, whether you decide to make environmental changes in all seven categories, or you're just looking for uh, recommendations within energy, the standards are a great starting point um, to point you in the right direction of what is green and in the realm of green, uh, what's good, better, and best. Let's take a look at some real restaurant examples of <clears throat> certified green restaurants that have implemented some of these changes. This is a transparency tool that we're very proud of. This one focuses on Brasseria Joe at the Colonnade Boston Hotel, an esteemed hotel in the Boston area that has become a three-star certified green restaurant at 183 points. This restaurant, you could see that they've made 69 points in energy, 22 in food, 15 in water, 54 in waste, disposables 11, chemicals 10. They've done a wonderful job of implementing a plethora of changes and we're going to continue to take a look at what they've done. This label, by the way, is available for all of our restaurants. You can go on to our restaurant search section of DyingGreen.com and look at a green label of any of your favorite certified green restaurants, not just in the categories, um, but you could even see more detail, as we'll show you soon. This particular restaurant did one-third of their lighting LED. They're a near-zero-waste restaurant with full-scale recycling, composting, and grease to biodiesel. Waste is no longer a necessity. Low flow pre rinse spray units and faucets. They even have an electric car charging station. 50% of their chemicals meet GRA's highest standard. And they have an Energy Star gas fryer. They have scores of steps. This is just a snapshot. Here are some more details that are, are part of the green label. When you click to the bottom of the green label over here, you get energy, food, water, and on the web you'll see the other three categories too. So it shows you every single point for every step that they're doing. It's a great way for you to learn what a place is doing. It's not going to tell you their brand of LED lighting. Um, it won't tell you which T8 lamps they've purchased um, or their energy management system or programmable thermostat, um, but it will really show you if you're a hotel um, how doable this is. And if you're a fast food restaurant, go look at some of the fast food restaurants. If you're a vegetarian restaurant, look at some of your colleagues there. If you're fine dining, um, look at the restaurants that are most similar to you and you really will see um, becoming a two-star at the very least certified green restaurant is something that is very doable and will greatly reduce uh, your impact, not only in energy, but in also the other, other categories too. Here are some more steps, waste, disposables, chemicals. This particular place is compost not only pre-consumer waste, but also post-consumer waste. There are six steps to greening your restaurant. You want to start off with an environmental assessment. Find out where you are, not where you think you are, where you are exactly. And that's what we do. Um, we don't make a general um, interview or a checklist. This is not a self-assessment. Uh, we are looking at all of your invoices, pouring over pages of food invoices from your chicken down to your corn, finding out what's local, what's not, what's organic, what's not. On the energy, we're figuring out what you've done. The goal of step number one is to find out not what's wrong, but what is right about what your operations are already doing. And we will furnish a report of a baseline showing you how many steps you've implemented how many points each step gets, how many points you have in each of the seven environmental categories, how many total points you have, and then we'll start moving on to number two to find out where the room for improvement is. Where is that gap between where you are and the minimum certification levels? And that becomes our room for work. 
we then work on that together and we make suggestions to the restaurant as to the 5, 10, 15 steps that can be implemented in order to meet the minimum certification standards. And the suggestions are not general. They are specific down into product numbers. And we also work with your vendors from your distributors, your recyclers, your various vendors to actually help them carry the products um, so that if we're making a recommendation saying go to X composter or go to Y distributor or go to your current distributor, if we're making the recommendations of a particular step with a product number, it means that vendor carries it. And we've done the footwork to make sure that they have. Um, and if they don't, we help them carry it. Then we go into verification. This is very important because the difference between what uh, we might think that we do compared to what is done um, sometimes is, has a has a difference and uh, even with the most well-intentioned of us um, and so it's really important consumers want transparency they want something definitive they don't want a feeling they don't just want a uh, leaf at the bottom of the menu they want to know that this place truly is using less energy and less water safer chemicals etc and that's where the verification process comes in very similar to number one environmental assessment but now the changes are done we're verifying that they're done and that the standards are met so that we can then go into certification communicate the message the PR and marketing tools to the consumers and then uh, do education of both consumers and employees it's an exciting process for those of you who are chefs out there it's like making a good soup you can have 98 percent of the right ingredients uh, you put too much salt or too little, too much pepper, too little, too much spice or too little, the uh, soup could be flat at best and sometimes could be not good. Um, all six of these are really important ingredients of the soup that we call sustainability. Let's look at some simple solutions. Here we have Philips Lighting. Philips, as many of you know, uh, just came out with their award-winning L Prize LED 10 watt bulb and it is uh, something that is um, has a great opportunity to save energy not only does it get 18 points for a restaurant but it also um, can save 80 percent plus on lighting and uh, the light is truly spectacular we've experienced it firsthand and it is a very, very uh, beautiful light, well suited for restaurants. We encourage you to check out the Philips L Prize um, and really LED lighting in general. Um, just because it is a newer technology, just make sure you test it well, you like the color just as you would with any light. But for those of you out there that said, I have not found the color for the proper color, definitely check this one out. And in that realm, uh, the Green Restaurant Association is actually doing a, another webinar um, at, in, on September 27th, uh, 2012 at 11 a.m. Um, about the, it's an educational webinar with the GRA and Philips Lighting and the focus is actually on um, the recent laws that have been enacted that essentially are banning incandescent bulbs. So for those of you who are up to date on them, on, on this on these laws, um, that's great. For If you don't feel like you understand how they're going to be rolled out over the next few years and what the repercussions are for your current bulbs, what you'll be able to purchase, what you won't, um, we highly encourage you to attend this free webinar. Just email charlotte.maher at dinegreen.com to register. There's another thing that you could do for energy efficiency. Um, lighting is incredible because it truly, because lighting is 13% of uh, your total electricity, saving 80 or 85% could truly take 10% off your total bill. Um, so LED lighting, definitely. Here's another one that uh, can save a good amount of energy and has a good return on investment. This is called the Energy 2. And uh, first thing you want to do is you want to buy the right kind of fridge and freezer. Doing so can save a tremendous amount, especially if you have an old one. 
Um, but if you're not in the market to buy, then you should consider some retrofits that can maximize your current model's efficiency, such as energy, which helps to monitor the air temperature within your freezer and refrigerator in a way that uh, helps to save energy. You can save 60% on spray valves, on energy, water, sewer costs. The current law is 1.6 gallons per minute, um, which is much better than where we were a few years ago at 3, 4, or 5 gallons. Um, now, 1.6 gallons per, per minute is actually uh, kind of high compared to what's available. Um, you can choose a TNS Brass B0107C or b 0108C at a little bit more than half a gallon, 0.65 gallons per minute. You can choose a Stram valve at 0.99 gallons per minute. Um, and if you're using anything uh, more than 1.28 gallons, you're really um, putting water and energy down the drain. So those are some great takeaways. If you do nothing, please look at LED lighting, uh, look at some refrigerator retrofits and spray valves. After you've made the changes, and especially if you do it in a transparent way and you become a certified green restaurant, it's great ways to communicate what you've done. You can put it on your website, which uh, will link to that green landing page and those tools, such as here. It shows the green label, some information about the restaurant, and an introduction. You have a certification label on the window and also an award. It's great to put it right on the menu, communicate it there. Chef's hats, coats, dine green pins, right on your bill, table tents, and even on the receipt. We have some restaurants that actually put it right in their bathrooms too. Uh, Microsoft over here in Occasions Cater put it on their email footers. You can put it on your takeout containers or even right there on your advertisements. Um, we work with restaurants to create wonderful press releases and have gotten over a thousand media hits on from NBC Nightly News to CNN. The media is a great opportunity. You might ask, what does it have to do with energy efficiency? For 99% of the restaurants out there, this needs to work long term. And the more consumers appreciate it, the more they know about it, the more they will reinforce the changes that you have made and it becomes clear that it's part of the business's success, not only in saving energy and water and the money with it, but also the consumer loyalty that comes with that. We'll talk a little bit about that loyalty now. We did a survey a couple years ago, um, asked the questions, Technomic performed the survey, 500 consumers participated. The question was, would you be more likely to dine at a certified green restaurant over a non-certified green restaurant? 79% said yes, 21% said no. In terms of employees, 78% um, that they'd be more excited to be working at a certified green restaurant. And again, another 19%, another 22% or so uh, said it does not. It's not something that they care about. Going back to this question over here, um, consumers were also asked if they had three favorite restaurants and one of them became a certified green restaurant, 10% um, said they'd stop going to the two other restaurants, 65% said that they would diminish their consumption of the other two and singularly go to the one that's now green, and 25% said that they would not change their behavior. So between the 10% that would now singularly go to the certified green restaurant and the 65% that would increase their consumption there, you have 75%, again, similar to 79, that would make some major purchasing decisions on it being a certified green restaurant. Um, and again, they care about that transparency. They care about the, the restaurant meeting a solid standard. Um, so your energy efficiency can not only save um, kilowatts or therms and the associated dollars with it, but it's a great opportunity to attract consumers and employees alike. We even have one restaurant where they claim 50% of their employees are there because they're a certified green restaurant. My name is Michael Oshman. I'm the CEO and founder of the Green Restaurant Association. I thank you for your time 
and you can reach us at our contact information here. Good luck in your journey towards becoming more environmentally sustainable.